Previously on One Life to Live. I'm going to take you and Jack with me to Hawaii. I don't Benji gets a load of this one. Did Ben do something? He went rushing off to confront Allison. Ben? This is my sister. Emily. About that kiss. Just your friendship, don't you agree? Absolutely. Hey, you can always turn to me. Oh, can I really count on you? You can count on me always. Oh, oh. Who is it? It's me, Asa. Open up. Asa, I am sorry, not respectable. When were you ever? Uh, hey, Asa, I'm in my pajamas. You think I give a hoot what you're wearing? Give me a break. Just open the damn door. <sighs> whoa, 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 you're not kidding. What the hell happened to your face? Cold face cream. I just hope it works this time, because it hasn't before, let me tell you. It's so nice to see you, too. I'll tell Bo you stopped by. No, no. I don't need Bo. I need you. Out of here. Bo? Say something. Am I interrupting something? Why do I get the feeling I'm walking in on something? Am I? No. No. You here because of that note Allison sent to Vicky threatening her? Yeah, Vicky told me all about that. And if Allison Perkins sent her that note. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. If Allison Perkins sent her that note, she sent her the note. I mean, who else would it be? I'm on it, okay? You don't have to worry about anything. Well, I think I do, Bo. This woman is threatening my wife from prison. I'm gonna call the ward to make sure she doesn't do anything like that again. That's not good enough. I gotta know that my wife is safe. Vicky is safe, and she will continue to be safe. I'm not about to let anything happen to Vicky. What the hell was that look? What look? Just now, that look. You guys aren't planning on doing something without me knowing, are you? No, no, no. Then what was it? Um, there was a <clears throat> call from the clinic. They have an emergency, what? and they need you there. Did they say what it was? No, I'm afraid they didn't know. Damn. Okay, would you stay with her until I come back, please? Yeah, yeah, I have a few things that I'd like to talk to Vicky about. Right. You know, Bo, I'm holding you to this. No more threatening notes better come to this house. Now, you boys have not forgotten anything. I want tonight to be perfect. Hey, so what's going on here? What the hell do you think? Uh, well, it looks like they're getting ready for a romantic dinner for two. Well, what do you know, sweetheart? You're a lot smarter than you look. Oh. Throw this on. What for? Bo's going to need his privacy tonight, and you need to skedaddle. Well, not in that, I don't. And furthermore, you can't just come barging in here with your staff and kick me out of my own home? Wrong. This is Bo's home. You are nothing but an unwelcome guest. For your information, Bo has asked me to stay as his roommate. Really? I don't think he wants you around tonight. Oh. Here. It's ten bucks. Go see a movie. I am not going anywhere. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm not dressed to go see a movie. Who the hell is going to look at you anyway? Oh, hey, sir. I had plans to spend a nice, quiet evening at home, in my home that I share with Bo as his roommate. Oh. You want to be the third wheel on Bo's date? Be my guest. But I don't think Bo and his lady friend, who are dining here tonight, are going to appreciate it. 
you are really something else, the way you are meddling in his private life like this. Better me than you. You think I'm interested in both? Look, you may be under his roof, but you're not getting under his sheets. Asa, I'm not interested in Bo. <laughs> and for your information, I, I, I'd be more than happy for Bo to go out on a date. <laughs> so you say. Yes. Yes, I do say. Why, you don't believe me? No. Because you are a thief and a liar. And I'm damn sure there's more going on here than you're willing to admit. Kiss about Vicky. What were you thinking? Uh, 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 you, you what? I thought you were Ben. You thought I was Ben? Yeah, that sounds strange. Yeah, that, yeah, it sounds strange. You just kissed me, Vicky. You, uh, don't tell me that you thought I was Ben. Uh, this makes no sense. No, no, I know it doesn't. I don't expect it to. It doesn't even make any sense to me. Then please, please tell me something that does. You've been so kind and compassionate and caring with me, you know? Well, and yes, because I'm your friend. And, and I'm very grateful for that, really. But well, then why would you... Well, I guess you just reminded me of Ben, the way he was when we first met, you know? And and I missed that part of him so terribly. And, and I looked at you, and I, I saw that little bit of Ben in you, and, and I just reacted without thinking, and it just felt so right. But not to me. Not to me. I tell you, I died that... That was weird. That was weird. It, to me, it felt wrong. You know, I'm sorry, but... I'm so embarrassed. Vicki, you know, there could never be anything between us. Oh, I know that. Oh, gracious, and I certainly never intended that. I'm, I'm so horrified by what I did. I don't think I can ever look you in the face again. No, 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 come on. No, Vicki, look at me. No. Please, come on. No. Hey, we've got to talk about this. No, there's really nothing to say because you're one of my dearest friends and, and I threw myself at you. Vicki, I'm not mad about what just happened because you explained why and the bottom line is I'm still your friend, no matter what. Do you really mean that? Yes, I do. Oh. Vicki, hey. You know, I do love you, but, it, you know, it's not in a, in a, a romantic way. <clears throat> of course not. I know that, and that's the way I feel about you. I, I would hate, hate to lose your friendship over this. You won't. I promise. So, um, do you think we could just sort of forget that this ever happened? No, no, I, I don't think we can. <laughs> 